This here is the Macy's store. It's still open, but it's as good as gone. We got all those stores inside. And right here next to the Macy's, we have a bunch of retail shops that are for lease. There's this one here and this one. See, for lease. We're in downtown San Francisco walking on Powell Street. I'm going to Union Square, what used to be the biggest retail district in the city. Now it's just reduced to a few stores that are also announcing on leaving, including the Macy's store. So this is Union Square here. That's the Doom at Macy's store. And on the very opposite corner, we have a retail opportunity store for lease. This one is huge. It's all this corner and then the opposite corner as well. That used to be the express store. Another huge store. Check how massive this store was. All of these. This looks like used to be like a theater. Also gone. Right next to the express store. Right next door, another store. Gone. And across the street, two more. Back to back. For lease, for lease, and then you have Sam's Cable Car. That corner right there, that used to be the Skechers store, also vacant. This one's vacant. The sign is gone, but it's vacant. This one here is for lease. There's the for lease sign there. And so is this one, for lease. Right across the street, we have another one here for lease. All this corner here used to be the Skechers store. Huge store go now and it says there flagship retail for lease <laughs> right here on Powell right across the street same thing for lease opposite corner same thing corner retail opportunity only place that's open is the Starbucks that corner is closed, this one's closed, and this one's closed. Let's take a closer look. You saw the corner here. There's the sign for lease. Retail for lease. Look how big this is. I think that on this street, nothing's open. Every store is closed. Across the street, the corner one is closed, that one's closed. Then we have the Walgreens open. But next to the Walgreens is for lease. Alright, so this is the same store. I think this used to be H&M. And next door, we have a border business. This one is all boarded up. There's the for lease sign up there. So we have that huge corner store. Then we have this one. And then this one doesn't say anything, but it sure looks closed. Right next door, closed. And the next one, also closed. Next one down, also closed. One more, closed. Every stall in this corner is closed. This is another corner that every single store is closed on the entire block. This right here in this corner used to be an Italian restaurant. It's for lease now. Look at the size of this restaurant. It's like half the block. And then it wraps around the corner. Big restaurant. It's all boarded up now. Boards on every window. Boards, boards, and more boards. That restaurant wraps around the corner here. Right here, we do have retail for lease. After this, that corner store used to be Rasputin Music, also closed. 
we might start seeing the uh, for lease signs right here. There it is. Ritter for lease. Right here on Union Square. Next to that store, this here used to be Blondie's Pizza. Go now. There's the uh, Retail for Lease sign up there. Here we have more Retail for Lease. This one here, the next one, and the next one. After that, it's just the uh, Gap store. Well, what used to be the Gap store. <laughs> this is uh, where the cable cars turn around to go back on Powell Street. There's only a handful of people waiting for the cable car. And we have seven cars, empty cars for five people. The city is planning to remove these planners and replace them. Make the uh, sidewalks wider than this, which is not going to resolve anything. That's not the issue here. That's like saying, my car doesn't run. I'm gonna paint it. That's not gonna make it run. That's not addressing the issue. That's just making taxpayers pay for their own demise. Might as well just add a gravestone that says, Here lies Union Square. Used to be the biggest retail district in the city. Here we have three more places for lease. We have this one. We got this one right next door. And this one right here. All back to back. For lease. If they do approve the renovation and they close the sidewalk for that, you know that's gonna be a long time. That's just going to be the last nail on the golden casket. Their own tax dollars will be paying for their own demise. Macy's closing is getting a lot of attention lately, unlike many other flagship stores like the Westfield, the Gap, the AT&T store, Nordstrom Rack. Maybe it's because Macy's been here since 1947. That's another closed store. Or maybe it's because Macy's is a big store. 400,000 square feet of retail, consumerism, and madness. On this block, where Gap used to be, there's only one store open. Other than that, every single store is closed. Just like up there on Union Square. Here's another store. Here's another one that says flagship retail for lease. This is the only store that's open. Here we have more stores for lease. Here's another one and another one. And this, and this big one here in the corner. On this corner, this used to be the uh, diesel store. It's now for lease. Wraps around the corner, about half a block, both ways. It's a huge retail space. All of this is available. Right across the street from the diesel store, we have another place for lease. That's the entrance there. Right across the street from the diesel store. This here was a sushi restaurant for lease now. That corner there, the whole thing, that used to be the Old Navy store. Here lies Old Navy. It's now Dead Navy. <laughs> Since we are already here at the former Westfield Shopping Center, let's go in and see what's open. They're going to rename it Emporium again. Seems like some stores are open, but most of them are closed. Everything on the right is closed. This one that's open down there. That one's closed, that one's open. And that one there is uh, open next to two closed ones. It's so hard to find open places that they have a QR code to find out what's open. <laughs> We're in the second floor and there's only shop after shop that are closed. Here's a straight line, it's like four stores are closed. On this row here, every store is closed, except for the Vans store. Other than that, every store is closed on this stretch here of the mall. 
Right across there. I think that used to be Hollister. Close now. And then you see a few a few stores that are open. There's one that's open. This one's closed. On this floor for sure. Every shop is closed. No exception. Really quiet. I only see a few people sitting down. The floor is open, but all the stores are closed. Really cool, round shape, but all the stores are closed. Check out this dome. There's a piano in the middle there. Not planning on touching that. And upstairs, that used to be uh, the movie theaters. I don't think they're open. Looks like somebody's coming from up there, so there must be something going on. We'll see. Yeah, it's closed. This used to be uh, the movie theater. The floor is open, but the movie theater is closed. Nothing going on up here. From this point on, this board covers the stairs. You can't go upstairs. Every single store is closed from this floor on. See how every floor is dark? They're not keeping the lights on on this one. That is what blocks the stairs. The stairs are not on and you can't go upstairs anyway. You can't use the elevator. This was the access to the bar station closed now here's another place that's closed this one's closed that one there is closed we got one that's open here a couple that are open but the food court can tell you pretty much how healthy is the shopping mall here's another one that has no signs it's obviously closed, but they got vending machines. It's the way of the future, like in Japan. You'll be getting a hamburger from a vending machine pretty soon. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think about Union Square, the future of Union Square and the city, and I'll see you on the next video.